Hello everyone, this is the Mining Geologist and I am back again with another very exciting and very informative tutorial. If this is your first time on the channel, I share everything related to geology, mining engineering and geoscience in general. If you are interested in this kind of stuff, make sure to subscribe. So in this video, I'm going to show you again another free tool that I'm sure that it's going to be very helpful to a lot of you, especially if you have access to a lot of documents and you want to create or turn that into something useful. Or maybe you can this, use this one with publicly available documents like on websites like CDAR or like uh, SEC or any other uh, website with public information and then you can turn this in this information into a database that's going to be very useful for you. A lot of websites are offering this as a paid uh, service but you can turn your own documents into a useful database if you want to. So if you want to learn more about what I'm talking about, what I'm talking about exactly, make sure to watch the full video because in the end I'm going to show you also something really cool that you can use on your own computer. So the tool that I've created, I called it PDF Query. It's available for free and you can see the link. It's pdfquery.streamload.app. And again, since this application is available and free for everyone, and again, like I mentioned in the previous tutorial, I'm using the community cloud from Streamlit, which is free. So there are some limited resources that this app can use. So if like everyone or like thousands of you are going to use this at the same time, it might crush and it's not going to be available for, uh, you know, couple of hours or something like that. So if you check the link and it's not available, it doesn't mean that it's not working, but maybe it's down for, uh, you know, for a period of time because a lot of people are using it at the same time, make sure to check later. And if you would like to get the desktop version of this app, all you have to do is to join my Patreon. I will show you in the end of the video how the desktop app looks like. But for now, let me show you the free version of this one and how you can use it and why is it very useful. So the first thing that you will need is you'll need an o OpenAI API key. So basically you need to create an, uh, uh, an account with OpenAI or like, uh, which is the company behind ChatGPT. And once you do that, you need to navigate to this link here. So I will add the links in the bottom, but all you have to do, if you don't know how to get to this link, you just type in in Google OpenAI API and your, uh, when you log into your account, you will be able to go to your profile and then user API keys and then you can create your own API here. Now let's call this test and create. So make sure that uh, the API key that you're going to create has the permission to set to all. So let's go and create that. And I'm going to copy this one. One thing to mention here is that if you click on done, you're not going to be able to check the key again. So make sure to store this somewhere. But uh, anyway, so like, for example, now I think everyone's going to see this key. So I'm going to delete that after this tutorial and you can create any number of keys uh, that you want. So you don't have to stick to just one key. OK, I'm going to copy the key and then I'm going to go to here and paste that here. The next thing that you'll notice is that you need to select a model. This is basically what it's doing. It's using ChatGPT uh, model in the background. And there are different kind of models from ChatGPT. And the two recent ones are the GPT-40 Mini and the GPT-40. So basically, you don't have to know what are these. These are just basically large language models that are going to deal with the text data and extract relevant information from uh, uh, your documents. So the GPT or the GPT-40 Mini, it's a cheap 
but there's a low accuracy so you need to be detailed in your prompt to get the information right both of them i consider them cheap because like if you run this tool for like i don't know like a hundred documents it's going to be just like uh less than a ten dollar i think or or even less than that so it just it's few pennies for like uh hundreds of uh, pages so you don't have to worry a lot about uh the cost i think and um yeah so basically let's go we're gonna choose let's say the gpt4 which is the i call that expensive but it's not like very expensive it's not like spending maybe like one dollar per, per document i consider that expensive it's like few pennies uh per document so let's go and choose gpt 4 o and now we get to uh the fun part which is the number of questions so let's say that I would like to know maybe like um, five questions. So I've got a few questions in here, so I don't have to type them myself. And I'm going to just do like, what is the name of the project? So this is the question that's going to be answered for each one of these documents. So I'm going to say the question will be like, what is the name of the project? Okay. Then the column that's going to sort that information is called the project name. If I move to the next question, I'm going to say, where is the project locate, located? And the column that's going to store that information is called location. I'm going to do the same thing for these, which is what is the commodity of the project? So maybe you're talking about different public reports and would like to extract relevant information from uh, these reports. And it could be anything. So anyone even if you're not into mining or anything like that and you have access to like different documents you can use this tool and you can create a database uh, out of uh, the documents that you have i've noticed that a lot of companies they have like uh, historic documents and informations that are buried uh, in these documents and they just cannot like read all of them and extract uh, informations and this could be like a, a, a good way to do it and uh, also you can do it with like maybe you've you have access to a lot of uh, public documents but uh, you cannot like read all of them one by one and extract the relevant informations this could be a really cool tool to do that now uh, for this one, I've created some dummy documents. Again, I used uh, a large language model to generate like dummy uh, reports. The these are not like real reports. As you can see, the names are funny. So I've got this uh, uh, Aurora deposit, the Azul and the Azure. These things, uh, these deposits, they don't exist, but they're imaginary deposits just to test how the tool works. And then after you import the documents, it supports both PDF and DOCX, uh, which is the Word document. And then once you import all the reports, you just hit run and it's going to create that database for you. Just one thing to mention also, there's a limitation to the, uh, the free app here is that the maximum size of all the documents needs to be about 200 megabytes. So if you've got like uh 20 uh documents with 10 megabytes each then then that's gonna be you're gonna hit the limit but with the desktop application that i'm gonna show you you're gonna run that locally on your machine and uh uh there's no limit to how many documents you can put in the um in the app and also the app now uses uh the API from uh, OpenAI or ChatGPT, which is also paid, but then I'm also working on a version that's gonna uh, do it for free using a free or open source large language model. So that's gonna be the next update and it's gonna be available on my Patreons. So everyone who's already on Patreon, uh, you can download the app, it's available there. And thank you guys for the support. So let's go and run this one. It should wait for just a few seconds to a few minutes, depending on how busy is the uh, are the servers of OpenAI 
and how many documents you're uploading and how big are the documents. So let me go and run this and wait for a few seconds. Okay, so the uh, the tool finished processing the documents and you can see that it turned that into a database. So I've got the document name, the project name, and you can see that we've got the location, like different locations in here. Uh, I've got the commodity, lithium, gold, zinc, iron, graphite. I've got the deposit style and I've got the coordinates and I've got the number of drill holes. So this could be like very useful into creating, uh, you know, a database from just documents. And the good thing is that it is flexible. So you could ask like whatever question that you want. So maybe you're, you're saying like, who are the QPs in this project or like, uh, uh, what are the different classes in this project? Like how many, what is the, the tonnage of this specific resource or like how much are the reserves or what was like uh, the uh, cutoff grade used? And you can do like whatever you want and you can turn that into a database. Imagine, so I showed you like just uh, uh, a quick example here, I think with like nine or 10 documents, but imagine that you have access to maybe like uh, thousands of documents or maybe like uh, 10 thousands you know 10,000 document or whatever is the number and then you can just run this through the tool and you will end up with like uh, a very useful database that you can use for like trend analysis and stuff like that may have got these different reports over different years and then you can also ask like uh, what is in which year was this uh, project or whatever and then you've got like a column for the year and then you can start doing like checking the different costs uh, how the mining cost increased over the years and you can turn this like into a really useful uh, database and you can create like different charts uh, and I think it's a very useful uh, tool and uh, also let me show you how you can get the desktop app and you can use it on your machine if you're uh, a Patreon. You can join the Patreon here and get the app. I'll leave also the link to the app uh, in the description below. So here is the app. It's a pretty simple app. It's uh, self-explanatory doing the ex exactly the same thing. You need to pick the model here whether 4.0 or 4.0 mini. You can go again and uh, get the API uh, code and again like I mentioned for the Patreons in the upcoming days or weeks I will add uh, a way to uh, do this for free without even relying on the uh, OpenAI API key and then you can run this locally on your machine. And the good thing about that is that even if you have confidential data or confidential reports, you don't have to worry about these being shared with OpenAI because you will be running that locally on your machine and everything doesn't rely on internet at all. And you can leave that. It's going to be slow for sure because uh, you're going to be using your computer power. But if you're lucky and you have access to like uh, some good... Uh, you know, workstations, that's going to be a little bit fast and you might even do the same thing that OpenAI is doing right now. And it's going to create this database for free for you locally on your machine. Maybe you have access to like different reports uh, from different dates and you want to create this database. This tool is going to make your life easier. So let me uh, paste that there. And then all I have to do is to navigate to this uh, uh, you know, folder in which I've ha I have all the different PDFs and then I select that folder and you can see now all of these documents, they were added uh, from that folder and then I can start and say what is the name of the project and then I can say here project name 
and then I can add that question and you can see this is where the database is going to be shown I can also download that as a CSV if I, if I want and I can do where is the project located and then I can do here like location so I'm going to just do these two questions and run them quickly and show you guys uh, how the results looks in here. Okay, as you can see, it finished uh, uh, getting the information. And just one thing to mention is that uh, either this tool or the other tool, they both work the same way, but the results sometimes like like for the location you can see in the previous one in the previous one it was uh showing like the the location as like um you know maybe like the the city and then the country but then in this one was just the country so it depends on the prompt like you can say for example just uh give me the uh, the name of the city or like uh, give me like full details or anything like that the same way you would prompt any uh, large language model but again the same thing like sometimes you get like no information while there's information there you could probably run this like um, for that specific uh, document because if you do it for uh, multiple documents sometimes it uh, it misses some information like in this case you will see like in this case for example it's saying like enable to find the project name which uh, it is available on the other one uh, it could happen also with the web application but not with this one um, so for example if this one is missing you can run the script again or like the tool again for that specific documents document and try to extract the information you can download the uh the database that you created as a csv file you can do the same thing also with this one you can download it as a csv or you can click on this button here and you can download it as csv and that's uh this is the tool and um Again, I will be adding and creating more tools and I've got something that I'm working on. I've been working on this for a couple of weeks now. It is something uh, cool, so I will be uh, releasing that soon, so stay tuned for that. Uh, it's a very useful application and um, yeah, make sure uh, if you could to join my patreon, that's what I'm when I'm going to be posting most of these applications and that's uh, how uh, These patreons are it's an exchange for their support and I hope this one was uh, very informative and uh, Useful for you guys. Pl please let me know in the comments below if you have any ideas about another application or about features that I can add to uh, either the desktop version or um, this uh, public version. And uh, with that being said, it's the real deal. You won't have to beg or borrow or steal.